Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and we're back with another crime news episode. 21 year old Chloe Wisniewski was arrested last week after a pit bull puppy gnawed on the infant's hand while she was in the shower, biting off five of her fingers early this year. On the morning of the 14th of February, Chloe left her baby daughter in the same room as a three month old puppy. It was brought into a home at 23399 Abrad Avenue in Port Charlotte, Florida less than 24 hours earlier. Chloe told investigators that she was feeling ill and put the little girl in a bassinet before heading to the bathroom. She said she turned on the shower and turned it off again when she heard the baby girl scream. She came running out of the bathroom and saw the dog laying in the bassinet with the child, chewing on the baby's hands. Chloe told police there was so much blood that she... So she left the baby in the bassinet with the dog she went in the shower and came back. The dog was eating the baby's hands? Good lord, he was a three-month-old puppy. What was it, a rock wall? She couldn't look at her daughter's fingers. She wrapped the baby's hands in cloth and called 911, and the infant was rushed to hospital. Doctors had no choice but to fully amputate three fingers on the child's left hand mm -hmm. and partially amputate two fingers on the right hand. On Friday the 16th of June, after a four-month investigation, authorities arrested and charged Chloe with child neglect. Investigators said the mother kept changing stories as to why she left the baby alone with the pit bull. Oh, she was out of the Charlotte County Jail but was released on Monday the 19th of June after posting a seven and a half. Oh, it was a pit bull. Her hands looking like Brian sausage. A thousand dollar bond. As the baby recovers with family members, Chloe was granted supervised visitation. The puppy named Apollo was quarantined as part of the protocol following a bite. He passed the quarantine and was transferred to the Animal Welfare League. So they quarantined the dog for biting the baby's hands off, but it was, they both was babies, so that's a hard decision to even think about. 25-year-old Kaylee Ann Louise Bang is behind bars after being accused of setting fire to a home that she knew had people inside. At 5.39am on the 11th of June, Kaylee set fire to a house at 951 16th Street Northeast in Mason City, Iowa. Authorities said that Kaylee set items on fire in the bedroom when she knew her mother and two other people were inside the home. She made no attempt to... She tried to kill everybody in the house, didn't she? She set the house on fire. She said, if I can't stay here, can't nobody stay here. Extinguish the fire and then tried to prevent a neighbour from putting the fire out. Law enforcement described the home as a total loss. On Friday the 16th of June, Kaylee was arrested and booked into the Cerro Gorda County Jail on separate charges of public intoxication and violation of probation. She's now charged with first degree arson. She's been held on a $25,000 bond. If convicted on the first degree arson charge, she faces up to 25 years behind bars. So they gave her every charge but attempted murder of three people. Because that's exactly what it was. It was attempted murder of three people in this house that she set a fire. But Evidently, they didn't charge her with that. A woman has been charged with murder after leaving a 16-month-old daughter alone for more than a week while she vacationed. On the morning of Friday the 16th of June, 31-year-old Crystal Candelario found her daughter Jalen unresponsive at the home on West 97th Street in Cleveland, Ohio, and 911 was called. First responders pronounced Jalen... See, she went on vacation. And left the baby at the house. She didn't want to go on this vacation. She needed a vacation from the baby, the house, everything in it. Now she needs a vacation spot in the jailhouse. Jalen dead at the scene, and investigators noted that she was extremely dehydrated. While questioned, Crystal told detectives that she admitted to going to Puerto Rico and Detroit for a total of eight days, while leaving Jalen alone and without any care inside the house. Officials also observed Jalen's play pen packed with saw blankets and a bottom liner, saturated with urine and feces. Yeah. Neighbor Suleen Gonzalez said that the baby's grandmother usually cared for the baby, not the mother. The baby's mother always wanted to go out and left her with her grandmother and all that, she said. Crystal was arrested. It sounded like it, and this time she didn't go out. She went away. She went all the way to Puerto Rico and Detroit. She did a whole circle to just come back to go to jail stood on Sunday the 18th of June and appeared in court for arraignment on Tuesday the 20th of June. She's held at the Cuyahoga County Jail on a $1 million bond. Her next court appearance is scheduled for a pre-trial hearing on the 28th of June. The investigation into the matter continues.
A 24-year-old man is behind bars and is accused of fatally shooting two people. At 8.28 p.m. on Monday, the... It look like somebody hauled off and whooped his ass. Tell me he didn't shot two people. I see why. Look at that eye. The 19th of June, authorities responded to a call of a shooting near Main and Bridge Streets in Westbrook, Maine, and saw a man firing at a woman in a parking lot. Officers discovered 37-year-old Brittany Cockerell and 41-year-old Michael Hayter deceased in a vehicle with their 11-year-old son and 7-year-old daughter in the back. The children witnessed the shooting, but police said they were not injured. A man working at a nearby market took the children out of the car so they wouldn't have to see the parents' bodies. The suspect, 24-year-old Marcel Lagrange Jr., ran from the scene and physically assaulted a bystander while fleeing. Authorities identified that victim as 75-year-old Fred Rocky and said he went to hospital with minor injuries. Witnesses nearby tackled Marcel and took his gun away until police arrived and arrested him. The medical examiners determined... He kept carrying a gun around until he had to use it. He didn't shot these people. Michael and Brittany died of gunshot wounds and their deaths were deemed a homicide. Marcel was charged with two counts of murder and he's held at the Cumberland County Jail without bond. Investigators said there's no known connection between the victims and Marcel and the motive of the attack is unclear. Marcel has a criminal history. So he even know these people. He just run here randomly shooting people. And got him too. Dating back to 2018, with charges of terrorizing, assault, domestic violence, and other crimes. Just days prior to the shooting, a woman who met Marcel said he showed up to her house and threatened to kill her. The woman called authorities and pressed charges. She said she quickly realized that Marcel was a very dangerous person and not to have any contact with him. The investigation into the matter continues. Kind of looked like he just dragged. I didn't know if he was a man or a woman for a minute. But he, he got a murder charge. You'll know if he's a man and a woman in a minute when you get to that jailhouse. 55 year old Donald Shaver Jr. is behind bars after he tried to kill his pregnant girlfriend with an axe at 1120. Speaking of drag, he got two earrings in his ear. They usually don't let you take your earrings, picture with your earrings, but I guess he know them. 8 p.m. on Saturday, the 24th of June, authorities responded to a home along Old Cross Road in Bell County, Kentucky, on a report of a domestic violence incident. When deputies arrived at the scene, they came in contact with a female victim. She said that Donald placed his hand around her throat, knocking her backward out of a chair causing the back of her head to hit the ground and proceeded to strangle her. The woman said she was able to break free from Donald and get to her feet when Donald swung an axe at her stomach while she was 13 weeks pregnant with their child. Deputies found Donald sitting on the back of a pickup truck on the property and detected... Tried to kill both of them, the baby and her. He ain't want neither one of them. ...did a strong odor of alcohol coming from his breath. Donald was arrested and charged with assault, strangulation, attempted murder, attempted fetal homicide, and public intoxication. He's out of the Bell County Detention Center. The victim's condition is unknown at this time. Well, there you have it. Another episode of Stutter Park TV. Hit the subscribe button, and thank you for watching again. See you next time. Same time, same channel. Thank you.